Okay, here we go. Lands End is our next destination. So, John the Groats to Lands End, End to Enders. Time is 3.22. You ready? Here we go then. down to the other end of the world, our country. Charlie up ahead. As you can hear, it's pretty bloody windy. And here comes a bit of rain. Let's we'll see what happens. It is um, supposed to be sleet and snow tonight. Yeah, there's a bit of sleet there. You can see a bit of a snow. <laughs> Typical. There you go. Like I said, uh, here comes the snow. <laughs> it's been uh, lovely all day. Quite nice. Sun's been out most of the day. A bit windy, but like I say, not been too bad. We leave and we hit the snow. <laughs> so, let's see how this Revit kit holds out. Should be okay. We've got the uh, the Revit Poseidon jacket and trousers, which proved themselves absolutely priceless in Nepal a few weeks ago. But admittedly, it was nice and warm there. It was just the river crossings and uh, that we had to deal with. Um, So, not been really tested in anger against weather like this. Snow and sleet. <laughs> what an unbelievable change we to today. They did say it was going to be but bloody hell. Fantastic. Let me just make sure that you can see. Get the snow off. It's not a good sign when you see a uh, Land Rover coming towards you with the whole front end covered in snow. Now, a little thing for my students. I know I say, if it's really crap, don't bother going out on your bike. But hey, 
<laughs> if you're already out and <laughs> you've got to get back just take it nice and steady as you can see I'm not going mad fast or anything I'm uh, taking it nice and steady nice and smooth I'm so glad I got the camera on people would just go yeah whatever don't believe you <laughs> but hey all good fun innit As you can see, the snow is settling on the hills there, look, in the distance. I did actually say to Charlie yesterday, I was thinking about using the G GS Adventurer because it's got <laughs> the hiding our towers on. <laughs> it probably may have been a better idea. <laughs> than using an RT. Mind you, when we get it out, out of this area, the road should be good. We noticed yesterday that when we left, or when we were coming up towards Wick, the, uh, the amount of salt that was on our boots and our gear, they've obviously been out salting the roads, the main roads, but obviously, this road isn't a main road. So, met a couple of really nice ladies that run the uh, the CAF at uh, John O'Groats. Absolutely brilliant, couldn't do enough for us. Signed all our paperwork, gave us a certificate for us to get stamped at the other end. And uh, all the information that we need to do to get our end-to-end -end iron butt challenge sorted, which was absolutely brilliant really nice couple of ladies and uh, really interested people they were really interested in what we were doing which was really nice we signed their visitors book and uh, yeah it was nice nice people to talk to to while away an hour or so before we had to leave um, obviously we were doing all the uh, <coughs> The usual Facebook posts and all that lot for the blood bikes, not into blood bikes, and um, 
obviously my love for school motorcycling web, uh, Facebook page as you do but uh, yeah it's uh, it's going well at the moment brightening up over that way which is good obviously it's not going to be full sunset just yet because we are traveling south and and west so we are following the sun round but we do have to uh, be aware that obviously it is going to get darker and obviously we have wind and rain snow at the moment So I'm keeping a nice distance between myself and Charlie. God forbid anything does happen, then I've got time to stop so we don't both become casualties. And as you see, we're using the car tracks. Hopefully give ourselves a little bit of a more traction. So you get dickers in 4x4s that don't care. We'll just come flying along. There you go, never mind. So nice. the gears to slow down rather than brakes if we can. down into a rhythm. We're going to have to stop and get fuel purely because of the iron butt challenge say you're going to get the fuel and get a date and time stamp blah 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 um, for us obviously so they can um, prove that we have left at whatever time. Obviously I've got the film but uh, just got to uh, do it as per the uh, rules of the world and get our certificate. But hey ho, all good. As you can see on the uh, dashboard there, it says half a degree. But hey. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Not a uh, fair weather biker, as you can tell.
grips, a heated seat. That's the way we roll on this bike, I'm telling you. Need it. It's quite nice having the heated seat on in this sort of weather. Just to warm yourself. Although it does feel like you're um <laughs> you've wet yourself sometimes. But all good. We'll just turn the heated hand grips down because they're too hot. Nice to get the heat into the handlebars and then uh, just knock it down a notch. I must say, I put the uh, I've got these Revit gloves um, the other day um, from a bike shop in Hinkley. I'll let you have the name once I uh, remember it. Motor Central, I think it is, and. Uh, Five quid they're on sale at the moment. Um, wore them last night on the way up here. Absolutely brilliant. Nice and warm. Waterproof, which obviously we need, <laughs> as you can see. There's loads of water and which is good. Oh, and it's also. Uh, Baptism for my Altberg boots. Um, had a pair of Altbergs. Got a pair of Altbergs uh, May time, and uh, the, uh, the ones that look like the army boots, which are the high leg ones, the hog. I think it's something like that. Um, but they leaked. Um, just a manufacturing fault with it. Obviously they're handmade, so it does happen. So I took them back to Altberg and they were great. Yep, not a problem, we'll sort it out, we'll test them, make sure they're okay, and then we'll send them back. Um, a couple of weeks later, get a phone call. No, nope, they definitely failed, both boots have failed. Um, not just around the toe, but around the heel as well. So. Uh, they said, oh, you're a motorcycle instructor? And I said, yes. And they said, right, what have you tried? Um, I can't remember the boot name. I'll let you know. It's their um, high leg motorbike boot, as you can see there. Just. Um, have you tried, thought about this? Because there's, you know, there's no laces, so it's more of a, a full grain leather all the way around. Um, less chance of egress of water. They're 60 quid more expensive. I said, right, okay. I said, well, I really wanted something with a decent sole on it. Well, these have got the same Vibram soles, um, same style of sole as the army boot. He says, don't worry, we'll just replace your other ones with these. Obviously, because I'd had a bit of a hassle with it. Absolutely brilliant. I thought, great, 60 quid more expensive boot for the same price. So they sent them down. And yeah, I've been wearing them, they've been great, they've been, they're very comfortable. Um, they need a little bit of breaking in for myself, but uh, been good. But not worn them in the rain and the pouring rain or anything like that. So tonight should be a baptism of fire with the amount of rain that's due to come in from the west. So uh, if I come on a bit later on my video and uh, turn around and say, Yep, they're great, or no, I've got wet feet. You'll know what's happened. <laughs> so, right, so we're at Wick Tesco's to get filled up and uh, the start of our proper journey, basically. So we get filled up here and then we head down south. All the way down to Land's End. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to stop the video when I pull up and I will uh, get back to you a little bit later on. Oh, if he's going, I'm going to go over here. So, uh, 
Nah, all good. Once this guy gets out of my way. Really good fun start. I've got it all on video as well. <laughs> Come on! Are you moving or what? Are you in paying in kiosk or are you paying at here? Yeah. 